uh, when the uh, Dark World Earthquake occurred, uh, we had a little bit of a puzzle to solve at the beginning because we the earthquake uh, epicenter was somewhat to the north of the uh, surface rupture that we saw on the ground, um, and also the you know the first indication was that this earthquake was a thrust fault, so going up. Um, compared to down, that was based on the, on the first arriving waves, whereas what we saw on the ground was really a straight slip fault, so one that was on, you know, where the sides slide past each other. Uh, and it was a little bit of a, a, a puzzle, and a, the team of seismologists at, at GNS unraveled it uh, by, um, by identifying that this earthquake um, involved more than one fault rupture. And it was, it was quite nice because we did have a really dense seismic network surrounding um, City of Christchurch and on the Canterbury Plains, we were really able to see a picture of the fault rupture in detail. Uh, 